Hello everybody, welcome to all my loyal subscribers. I have a new video I just finished about creating your own home gaming PC from the comfort of your own home. This gaming PC will allow maximum settings for all gaming titles at 1440p. So the first component of our build that we're going to talk about is the motherboard. It's the Asus Rogue Strix B660i Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, which utilizes the LGA 1700 for 12th and 13th gen Intel chips. It's a mini ITX board. It has PCIe 5.0 support, 8 plus 1 power stages, DDR5 memory, it utilizes Wi-Fi 6, 2.5 gigabit LAN, 2 M.2 PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD support, these two M.2 slots for wickedly fast PCIe 4.0 drive from providing maximum storage flexibility and lightning fast data speeds available with the latest Intel processors. So the first thing that we'll be connecting to our motherboard is our memory. What I'm utilizing today is a DDR5 memory, it's the latest and greatest for the PCs. I have the G-Skill Ripjaws S5 series 32 gigabit kit, it's a 288 pin set. It has support for up to 5600 megahertz. This is the best in class hand screen memory ICs, they're covered in aluminum heat spreaders and matte white. It has a low profile height of just 33 millimeters which is an ideal choice for a mini itx build it's designed with ultra low voltage of 1.1 volts the standard ddr5 reduces power consumption and is more efficient than ddr4 memory So the next thing we'll be adding to our motherboard is our hard drives. So what I have today is a hard drive made by Samsung. It's called the 980 Pro PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD. It's a one terabyte hard drive. This hard drive has read speeds of up to 7,000 megabits per second and it pushes the limits of what SSDs can do. It's powered by a new ellipsis controller designed to harmonize the flash memory components and the interface for superior speed. That 4.0 interface is two times faster than the PCIe 3.0 SSDs and 12 times faster than the Samsung SATA SSDs. Every component of this NVMe SSD is manufactured by Samsung for performance that lasts. The 980 Pro comes in a compact M.2 2280 form factor, which can be easily plugged into this, our motherboard here. Due to its size, thus optimized power efficiency, it's ideal for our high performance computing system we're building today. The 980 Pro uses nickel coating to help manage the controller's heat level and the heat spreader labeled to deliver effective thermal control of the NAND chip.
the next thing we'll be installing on our motherboard is our CPU. I have today the Intel Core i7 12700K. It's a 12th gen Alder Lake version. It's 3.6 GHz processor, which offers more cache, and the hyperthreading architecture delivers high performance for demanding applications with better onboard graphics and a faster turbo boost. It utilizes 12 cores, 8 performance cores, and 4 efficiency cores. The socket's an LGA1700, and it utilizes Intel's 7 architecture, which is improved performance per watt, and microarchitecture makes it very power efficient. It has 25 megabits of L3 cache to boost the instruction processing and system performance. Now I'm going to be installing the Thermorite CPU contact frame for the LGA1700. It, the computer CPU is prone to overheating and warping, and this CPU fixed frame is designed to prevent this warping and bending in favor of CPU fixation. The CPU fixed buckle is made of all aluminum CNC gold anodizing sandblasted, and the edge is oxidized, which makes it not easy to scratch. Now I'm going to be installing my second hard drive. This is called the SK Hynix Gold P31. It's a 2 terabyte PCIe NVMe Gen 3 M.2 2280 SSD. It has read speeds of up to 3,500 megabits per second, and its compact form factor will make it easy to install on the back of the board. It has write speeds of up to 3,200 megabits per second, and it blows away the competition with an amazing 172.2 megabits per watt power efficiency, outperforming similar products by up to 434%. Amazing. All right, the next part of our build is the computer case. So let's go ahead and unbox that now. What I have today is the Leon Lee A4 H20 Black Mini ITX computer case. It is one of the smallest cases on the market, only 11 liters, that supports a triple slot GPU and a 240 millimeter AIO. All the panels are fully removed with a mesh design which ensures that the components get cooled directly with fresh air. Located on the left side of the case, inside a recessed cutout is the front I.O., which is a USB 3.1 Type-C port, a mic port, an HD audio port, and a USB 3.0 Type-A port, as well as a premium grade power button. As you can see, it utilizes the sandwich layout design, which allows for the triple slot GPU to fit into the compact size case, and it matches with the Gen 4 riser cable. And this relocates the GPU right behind the motherboard and leaves room for the 240 millimeter AO at the top of the case. So the next thing we'll be unboxing is our all-in-one cooler. Today I have the EK AIO 240mm cooler. It's a DRGB all-in-one CPU cooler with EK Barter's high-performance PMW fans. So unlike the traditional air cooler, the EK AIO utilizes a closed water loop, running liquid coolant directly over your CPU to dissipate excess heat. Not only is it more efficient, 
but unlike an air cooler, this excess heat is then expelled directly out of the case via the radiator fans. Better cooling efficiency means lower running temperatures, better gaming performance, and lower noise output. The installation is hassle-free because it's fully sealed and pre-filled with coolant, and the toolless CPU block design allows for easy plug-and-play liquid cooling solution. The EKAIO comes with a reinforced and sleeved rubber tubing, each fitted with an aluminum cover to ensure an durable design. It has diamond-cut rotary fittings which allow for an easy installation and adjustment of the rubber tubes, which gives it a full range of movement to make the EKAIO very suitable for a very small case, like our mini ITX build that we're doing today. So instead of the stock fans that the AIO comes with, I'm actually going to be replacing with some higher quality fans called the Fantex T30. These are 120 millimeter fans and they're premium high performance fans. And it comes with built in fan profiles as well and a wide RPM range. And that can be tuned for silent or balanced or extreme performance operation via a simple switch. Both the fan blades and the fan frame are made from the absolute best glass fiber reinforced liquid crystal polymer material. This makes the blades and frame extremely rigid and durable. And the T30 is designed with exceptional aerodynamic features, which requires high precision manufacturing. The liquid crystal polymer enables this thanks to its great material properties. The tip of the fan blade has a continuous and small clearance of only 0.5 millimeters. This reduces turbulence and delivers unparalleled noise normalized performance. The Fantex T30 120mm fans features a unique 30mm fan frame that results in a 25% thicker fan blade, which combined with this special LCP material, the three-phase motor, the magnetic levitated dual vapor bearings, and the three PMW fan profiles, it is the best in silence, the best for airflow performance, and the best in high pressure PC pressurization for your in the PC market.
So the next part of our build is to get our power supply prepped and ready and installed into the case. So what I have today is the Cooler Master V850 SFX Gold Full Modular 850 Watt Power Supply. It offers an 80 plus gold efficiency rating. It has fully modular cabling. It comes with a 92 millimeter FDB fan, a 16 gauge PCIe high efficiency cables, and all the capacitors are 100% Japanese. It also comes with an SFX to ATX bracket, which helps it fit into ATX cases or mini ITX cases. We will not be utilizing that because we have a mini ITX case. So this power supply is perfect for SFX system builds in, with a mini ITX motherboard. Two of the main benefits of a mini ITX build are the reduced size requirements and reduced noise. The main cause of noise in a PSU is usually the fan. But our 92mm FDB fan that comes with this power supply is extremely quiet. It has a small size and high efficiency and excellent hit dis dissipation. And it also keeps noise to minimum. This is why this uh, power supply is great for our case today. So the next thing we'll be unboxing is our graphics card. And so I'm pleased to introduce the AMD Radeon Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6950 XT graphics card. This video card uses up to 16 gigabits of high speed GDDR6 memory and up to 120 megabits of low latency AMD. It's designed for GPU cooling and uses wind friction and centralizes airflow for optimal dissipation in a virtually silent system. It utilizes cutting edge memory and VRM cooling 
with heat pipes and next-gen K6.5 memory pads. The brand new hybrid fan design combines the tranquility and strong air pressure features that exhibit ultimate levels of downward air pressure through the fan while keeping fan noise low. Heat is dissipated by a trio of large efficiency fans running anti-clockwise to maximize airflow. These feature dual ball bearing improvements to the fans, which means the solution is up to 10% quieter than the previous generation. The high quality aluminum backplate is not just for styling, it also protects the components on the backside of the PCB and it helps dissipate the heat from the PCB with the high performance thermal pad in between. The composite heat pipes are high fine tuned for each individual cooling design with optimal heat flow, efficiency, and evenly spreading out the heat to the entire cooling module. If you recall, the maximum size GPU that can fit in our case is 322 millimeters. And can you guess what the exact size of our graphics card we have today? That's right, it's 322 millimeters as well. So this will be a, a tight but perfect fit for our mini ITX case today. So that's it for our build today. It's on and running and it, it's installed and Windows 11 is being installed on it as we speak. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and valuable. Please like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm and follow me for more awesome videos in the future. Thank you again and have a great day.